All right, what's going on guys? It's Nando back with one more video. Thanks for stopping by. And if you are new to the channel, welcome to Geek Gang and Geek Nation. If you are a reoccurring visitor, let me know in the comment section below. And again, thanks for stopping by and watching another video. Let me know with a hashtag Geek Nation or Geek Gang. And what we're gonna be doing on this video here is we're gonna be talking about the Galaxy S20 Ultra with focus on battery life. This phone has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery and there is no other way about it other than to state that this is a very large and very powerful battery life. Some people may try to extend the battery life on their phones by making adjustments and tweaks and if you're all about that, great. If you are somebody that cranks up the screen, cranks up the volume and literally uses your phone to its maximum ability, great, all power to you. I'm someone who is in kind of in between. I care about battery life more than any other feature on a phone because if battery life isn't there, then it kills and deters away from the usage of the phone, from the excitement of having such a powerful phone. Um, there are tons of videos out there right now that show battery drainage and you know if you watch a video on a loop and then you browse the web and if you do this and that and the other I'm not gonna do that this is real life usage here's my day at the end when the phone gets down to about 5 to 10 to 15 percent I take a screenshot and I'm gonna show you guys what that is a couple things to note here though I'm gonna focus on what's the screen resolution what's the screen refresh rate because that's a new big thing when it comes to the S20 Ultra and of course also what am I using my phone for what am I doing all that impacts battery life so one thing is for certain here this is a big battery and if this phone can't handle everyday tasks for a long period of time then something's not right and I have not had that issue so let's go ahead and start looking at some screenshots here I'm gonna start from the bottom uh, bottom left work my way up to the most recent day um, so first day here's my battery usage the phone was already with a charge so I didn't actually go ahead and you know charge it up before I started using it it says here um, ma ma actually let me let me backtrack I had downloaded the GSAM battery monitor later in the day when my phone already had used um, as much battery life as you can see here on the screen um, but all the other screenshots are a full day of using this battery monitor I like using this right here because this gives you a straight-up easy to view screen on time so right here 65% um, of the phone was used 20 hours 0 minutes 7 hours and 17 minutes of screen on time let's go ahead here and focus on that 7 hours 17 minutes 47 seconds of screen on time so what we're showing here is that that's a heck of a lot of screen on time for what I was using the phone for and let me go ahead here and show you the battery graph obviously I was messing around with the camera a lot taking pictures taking videos trying to figure out how I like this camera a lot of Twitter a lot of Chrome here you can see some of the depletion obviously in the graph form that's what that first day was all right, so let's go ahead and go to the next day because this next day right here is going to show us with 120 hertz because I know um, I've been wanting to really focus on that because that's what everybody's been focusing on themselves as well. I only use the 120 hertz for one full charge. Um, to be quite honest, I'm not someone who really cares about that. That looks good and dandy, but I care more about battery life than I care about the screen refresh rate. So 120 hertz, battery 95% used. I took the screenshot with 5% left, screen on time 7 hours and 22 minutes. And uh, when I scroll over, as you guys can see here, an hour and almost 30 minutes of YouTube, an hour and 15 minutes of you know, web browsing, an hour and 20 or 12 minutes of Twitter. That's a lot of usage there. Then next day, uh, March the 6th, still using a little bit of screen of uh, 120 hertz. Screen on time was 6 hours and 10 minutes there. Um, and then I went back to the 60 hertz. And then look at this. A day and 3 hours. Screen on time was almost 9 hours. And if you just keep on scrolling here, guys, another day and 12 hours is where we're at right now. As I'm filming this video, uh, my phone is still not depleted. 
Um, as you guys can see, I have 7% left in the top right-hand corner. And this screenshot was taken maybe about 20 or so minutes ago. I had to use this phone for a day and 12 hours at 7 hours and 18 minutes of screen on time with 60 hertz refresh rate. That's incredible. 5,000 milliamp hour battery really, really going to crank that out. And look at this. Look at averages per cycle. You're going to get at least a day-ish. You're going to get at least eight hours of screen on time. Um, and I've been using this phone in the default resolution. So not the basic HD, not the quad HD, basic, um, you know, middle full HD plus resolution there. I think that's the perfect sweet spot. Of course, if I crank this up to the quad HD, we're going to have a lot more battery drainage, um, but that's not something that I'm interested in. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you think about the battery life when it comes to the S20 Ultra. If you have the S20 Plus or the regular one, also comment below and how your battery life has been doing. And what phone are you using? If it's not this one, what phone are you using? How's your battery life there? Because I just stopped using the iPhone 11 Pro Max and I love the battery life on that phone. And Apple has incredible battery life. We all know that, uh, but so far, this phone is a beast. It's a beast. It's a beast. And there's a couple things that I'll be focusing on when I do some reviews here early in the next few days. But battery life checks off. No issues here. Highly recommended for battery life. Use it to your heart's content. And let me know in the comment section below if there's anything that you guys want to mention regarding it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Like always, it was Nando. Peace, salute, and adios. And stay geeky. Love for your